Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu to everyone i hope all are doing well so today's our topic is neutralization reaction so first of all we will understand what is the neutralization reaction then we will do it practically in this video only so let us understand what is the meaning of the neutralization reaction neutralization reaction it means the reaction between the acid and base the acid and base react together to form the product as salt and water here i have taken the acid as the hcl hydrochloric acid and the base naoh sodium hydroxide they will react with each other as you can see the product nacl sodium chloride as the salt and water h2o then the next thing if i will give you the two solutions and i will ask you which is the acid and which is the base so how can you find out it so don't worry we are having an indicator that name is the phenolphthalein solution so that is the base indicator so if i will add this uh, if i will add this indicator that is phenolphthalein solution into the acid there is no change in the color of the acid but if i will add this phenolphthalein solution into the base it will change its color to the pink so phenolphthalein solution is an base indicator so let us do the neutralization reaction practically now we are doing the neutralization reaction practically so here i am having the concentrated hydrochloric acid hcl solution and base as the sodium hydroxide and the base a base indicator that is the phenolphthalein solution so here in the beaker i am having the solution the first beaker consists of dilute hydrochloric acid it consists of dilute hydrochloric acid it means i mixed the acid into the water so it will become dilute then the second beaker consists of water and the third beaker consists of base that is sodium hydroxide so let us start it this is the phenolphthalein solution that is the base indicator if i will add the phenolphthalein solution into the acid there would be no change in the color as we studied if i will add this phenolphthalein indicator into the water it does not change its color but if i will add this phenolphthalein indicator into the base it will change its color to the pink and it indicates that the solution is the base so let us do it so i am adding 2 to 3 drops of phenolphthalein solution into the hydrochloric acid as you can see there is no change in the color of the solution it is colorless only if i will add the phenolphthalein solution into the water it does not changes its color it is colorless only but if i will add the phenolphthalein indicator into the basic solution so as you can see the wonderful it changes its color to the pink this is so beautiful as you can see and it is indicating that and it is indicating that the this solution is the base so whenever we add the phenolphthalein solution into the acid no change in color into the water no change in color but whenever we are adding the phenolphthalein solution into the base it changes its color to the pink and it will indicate the given solution is the base then the next thing come to the neutralization reaction as we studied neutralization reaction it means the reaction between acid and base so let us do it practically they have a test tube take some amount of take some amount of base this is the basic solution if i will add the phenolphthalein solution indicator in the, in this it would be remain the basic solution only okay don't be confused so i am having the basic solution Okay, this is the basic solution that is sodium hydroxide then this is the base if i will add the acid into the base neutralization reaction as you can see it will it will again turns to the colorless solution here it is forming the salt and water sodium chloride and h2o so salt you cannot see here because the salt is dissolved into the water so this consists of water and the salt so do it let us do it we can mix it here 
this is the base and if I will add the base into the acid, this is the colorful. You can see there is no change in the color. So you can see. This is like very beautiful. It's like a magic. It's forming the salt and water. So this reaction is called as the neutralization reaction. So thank you so much.